Hello, Juliana here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing some exciting rating to all kinds of series and uh, I chose Emily in Paris for today because that's really, really exciting to rate. There are so many scenes that are, hmm, let's see, real or fiction? And then let's go and rate it. The first mistake. You guys just kiss so much here. That's a typical meet and greet. And if you've traveled to France, you should know giving kisses, which they call bisou, left and right is normal. And your first impression is like insulting their culture. You guys kiss so much. Maybe kissing in, in America means completely something different than telling a French you guys kiss so much. Something. You don't speak French. Fake it till you make it. Well, <laughs> I think the boyfriend was right. You are traveling to, to France. You are moving to Paris. You should speak a bit of the language and fake it till you make it is um, I think in the long term people will find out and that's that's literally lying you can't you can't fake a language till you make it speaking English no Patricia doesn't speak English well yeah that's already that's already um, I mean, you can apologize to speak English, but in her case, I have the feeling it's, um, it's she's, expect, she's expecting them to understand her, but she's in their country and she can at least try to make an effort, but she's expecting them to speak and understand English. This is a typical thing for English speaking countries. Um, the other scene where the woman just stands up and, and leaves, that appears really rude, but she may had enough when she heard um, apologize, but we are speaking English. So the way she reacted actually shows how offended she is with the first phrase. And um, interesting enough is also the body language. If you watch the body language of all participants in the boardroom, it's actually very defensive. And that's already a wrong start. And if, if Emily is really conscious of, of her environment, this should be actually very clear for her, but she seems to, to lack every social awareness. See, really? Um, excited does not mean excited. It means horny. That's embarrassing. Ooh. That's very embarrassing. If you don't know the meaning of the language, or if you don't know the meaning of the word, do not use it. But trying to use it to show off you can speak the language and then being complete, completely on the wrong side with a completely embarrassing meaning. This is, this is a huge faux pas. You should better leave it and not try at all. And going back to what she said at the beginning, when the boyfriend asked her whether uh, isn't it better to speak or learn a bit of the language before moving there, she said, fake it till you make it and that fake it till you make it didn't really work out right now it just backfired Rouge. you told french people this no wonder they hate you oh not just this they disagree with everything i say that's the french way they're very well, disagree actually, actually the french said the right thing you what did she say? You show French people this or you do this? No wonder they hate you. She's not really trying or putting any effort in understanding their culture. And they feel offended. And that's why she just started on the wrong foot. And she's not doing anything to amend that broken relationship. I think you're just supposed to taste it, dear. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. If you watch how all the characters in this small clip hold uh, the wine glass. That says a lot about, about your educational background, by the way. And um, Emily is holding the wine glass at the bowl. So usually you hold a wine glass at the stem. And interesting enough, the other guy with the, with the glasses is having slightly the pinky finger up but if you if you watch very carefully the pinky finger isn't really that raised it's curled 
which is a sign of um, noblesse, sophistication. But um, it's not necessary nowadays. It's really not necessary. It's it's too pretentious. Oh, that's that's oh, that was just just a short clip. But um, if you pay attention, you will see that uh, why they were dining none of them had a napkin not on the table and not on the lap so that's very unrealistic paris but i'm not really sure paris likes me and maybe that's okay i've spent my entire life wanting to be liked that's a pretty miserable goal well no that's exactly not okay she says she likes paris but maybe paris doesn't like her so she still hasn't got it what is going wrong here she likes paris because she has a picture and imagination of what Paris is you know like from the book oh I have to be I'm expecting that and she arrives and she doesn't expect that back from the people and she says well maybe Paris doesn't like me but that's okay but that's exactly not okay so that means she's still on the journey to arrive there to to understand the culture in, embrace it and hopefully build uh, better relationships. And that's a very unrealistic scene. The restaurant is full and the chef has enough time to sit and chat. That's very unrealistic. Maybe just say hello if you know someone, but actually you are back in the kitchen and you're very busy. Obviously everything seems to be fun for Emily and I think Emily just doesn't um, that the line between her excitement being in Paris and uh, being a professional at work is just blur and I think that's a big mistake. But hopefully by the end of the series she, she picks up a lot of clues and what she's uh, been doing wrong and, and embrace and accept the culture because uh, that's what is actually beautiful about cultures not being the same and experiencing different ways of, uh, of living, of thinking. It's, it's not easy, but it's actually enriching. And if you embrace it, the more you will enjoy it. So to finalize, I, I, would, I would rate Emily's uh, etiquette, mm, I would say three out of 10 and um, going by her professionalism i will rate her business etiquette even much lower i would say two out of ten there's a lot a lot of room for improvement thank you for watching i hope you liked it and if so please please subscribe and uh, hopefully I can see you again and if there are any other series you think it's interesting to to rate please comment below and let me know i'm happy to do so thank you